Uh, alright, uh, there's not really much going on in this video. Um, I'm talking to the lady of the lake about the, uh, the, the main problem that's in the town at the moment. You can do this at any point in time from when the chapter starts, so I'm just doing it now for some reason. As well, I'm talking to the elven craftsman and the town blacksmith about the piece of armor that I found, and I'm handing in the alp contract. I will see you in the next video because there's nothing going on. The humans. I'll tend to this. Who is in the right? It's not about who's right. I want them to reconcile. Then you must slay Dagon. To do so, bring me objects symbolizing harmony from both communities. I'll return soon. You will find clues on the nature of these objects on the statue. Yes? Farewell. Kedmil Vakern. Greetings. Who are you? When the chaos of war surrounds us, few care for beauty and harmony. I ensure that beauty remains in the world. I create customized objects. You're a craftsman? Craftsmen produce useful items. The beauty of my works could awaken the dead. I'm looking for information on Raven's armor. The legendary Witcher's armor. It has unique magical qualities. I'm listening. It was made in the gnomes' workshops, but finished by elves. The songmaster, Tayan Sao, took an interest in Raven's armor and worked for twelve days straight. Each movement of his chisel accompanied by a song of power. Legend says that in battle, the armor sang for Raven a song of victory, adding to his confidence and calming him. A beautiful story. Do you know if any records of these songs remain? I would look in crypts if I were you. Find the tomb of the elven songmaster. Objects belonging to him in life must lie in or near his sarcophagus. Farewell. Yes? Berenger mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making, not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks, equipment beyond our reach. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mention allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible, essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. Farewell. Beastie Beta? I'm here about the notice. What do you have for me? Five Alp teeth, as stated. How vile! Here's the gold I promised. 